Hobby Talk, Mastering Collocations in Social and Informal Settings. Hello everyone. We're glad to have you with us today as we delve into the fascinating world of English language collocations. Today's focus, hobbies and interests. In social and informal settings, the ability to discuss your hobbies and interests fluently can drastically improve your conversations. So, let's sharpen your English language skills and make your chit-chats even more engaging. Collocations are words that typically go together. They make your English sound more natural and fluent. For example, in the context of hobbies and interests, we don't usually say, do soccer. Instead, we say, play soccer. In this example, play and soccer form a collocation. Today, we will learn more about such collocations related to hobbies and interests. Let's look at some common collocations. When it comes to hobbies and interests, we use verbs such as do, play, go, and take up quite often. However, not all hobbies can use these verbs interchangeably. For example, we usually say, play chess, do gardening, go hiking, and take up painting. These are all common collocations. Understanding which verb to use with your hobby will help you sound like a natural English speaker. Knowing the collocations is one thing, but using them in sentences is what brings them to life. Let's try using some of the collocations we learned in sentences. 1. I play chess every weekend with my grandfather. 2. My sister decided to take up painting to express her creativity. 3. We usually go hiking in the mountains during the summer. 4. My father loves to do gardening in his spare time. By using collocations in your sentences, your English will sound more fluent and native-like. Now, it's your turn. Try to formulate sentences using these collocations. Remember, practice is the key to mastering any language. So, don't hesitate to use these collocations in your daily conversations. Well, that wraps up our discussion on collocations related to hobbies and interests in English. We hope you found this session enlightening and that it helps improve your English conversations. We'll meet again in our next video with more interesting English learning topics. Until then, keep practicing and happy learning!